I think that a lot of the experience of being queer and a lot of the experience of being Armenian are so similar because they're identities that are rooted in experiences of op oppression and dispossession, but also immense resilience. My name is Lilian Avedian. I'm a journalist and poet. I grew up in Los Angeles, and I'm here today selling my debut poetry collection, Journey to Zatev. I started writing, honestly, when I was five years old. <laughs> I love to write, but I specifically got interested in poetry in college when I was introduced to Armenian feminist poetry. It was the first time I saw myself and my narrative reflected in any kind of literature. And that for me was very empowering. And so that inspired me to start writing and to share my own story. The book generally follows the plot line of a road trip through Armenia from Yerevan to Tatev. As a queer person, writing is how I was able to process my experience, how I was able to understand it and give language to it. It's a way of, I think, working through difficulty and creating something beautiful out of it. And I think that's so similar to what Armenians do. Armenians are such creative people. We have such amazing art that was born of tragedy, but also celebration. That's a lot of what I hope comes through in the book, is that I see them as so interconnected and I want other people to see it that way as well, is that they're such powerful identities. And I think Gallus, embodies that in a really wonderful way. You know, what you hear all the time is that Armenianness and queerness are not compatible, right? So you have to find ways to inhabit both of these identities. I think that a lot of the experience of being queer and a lot of the experience of being Armenian are so similar because they're identities that are rooted in experiences of op oppression and dispossession, but also immense resilience. I think when you bring queer Armenian creatives together, you're gonna have amazing artwork. You know, there's so many incredible vendors here um, selling such beautiful art. It's very affirming as someone who grew up feeling, you know, quite excluded and uncomfortable with my identities to find this organization that meets that exact intersection. It's incredible.